Hello, in this video we are going to go over the solution of the problem 246. We are given a number and the question is asking us if I look upside down do I read the exact same number or not. For example for 69 we can see if I look from the upside down so that is exactly 69 again. For 88 is similar but for 962 if I look upside down that is not the same number so I'm going to return false. Okay let's just start writing the code. The first thing that we are going to do is to create a dictionary, we call it D. And let's look at this dictionary. For example, for key 0, we know the value is 0. So if I look from the top to 0, I should see 0. For 1 is 1, for 8 is 8, for 6 is 9, and for 9 is 6. For other numbers, it's not possible. For example, for 2, 3, uh, 5, if I have those things in the string, it is not possible to see the exact same number from top view. Okay, now we can define two pointers, left, right, so zero and length of num minus one. Then we start a while loop and say while left is less or equal than right. So I'm going to move the pointer left from the left side to the right. I'm going to say left plus equals 1 and right equals 1 okay so in each while loop I move pointer left to the right and pointer of the right to the left and then I'm going to check the number with the pointer left and say if number with the left nothing if that number is not part of this dictionary, for example, that is number 5 or something like that, we can just return false. And at the end, we can return true. So first I check if that number that I'm reading is part of the dictionary or not. I also need another condition here and say or dictionary with the key num left is not equal to num right. Okay, so I read this one and say, okay, is that inside the dictionary keys? Say yes, for example, that is number six. And I say, okay, this is number six. Go and see inside the dictionary which number is related to that. For example, for number six, we say, oh, okay, the result of this should be nine. Then I check that with my number with the right pointer. If that's equal, we are good. If it is not, we return false. Okay, let's run the algorithm. So this is true. If I look upside down to this number, I see the exact same number. So what happens if I have, for example, here number three? I get false. So by having that less than equal condition here, we are actually handling both scenarios that we have even or odd number of characters in the string. Okay, time complexity of this problem is order of n because we are visiting each character only once. The space complexity is order of 1 because the dictionary D that we created has a constant length. This is the solution of the problem 246 and thank you so much for watching this video.